In this video we're going to replace all the bearings in both the free hub, which is the 240S from DT Swiss, and the free hub body. First off we need to remove the cassette, then we need to pull off the end caps. The non-drive side should come off quite easily. If you have difficulty pulling off the drive side end cap, what I normally do is poke a pencil through the axle from the other side and give it a little tap and the end cap should pop off. Then you can just pull off the free hub body, taking out the spring from the outside, the star ratchet mechanism itself, the opposing spring and spacer, and also the little washer. So using a nylon faced hammer, tap out the non-drive side bearing. Because we can remove the washer on this hub, theoretically that drive side bearing will slide out without taking the ratchet ring out, but it's a very tight fit as you'll see shortly. So I'd recommend removing the ratchet ring first. You can get the cheap tool for doing this off eBay. I think I paid about 15 pounds for it. Drop the wheel over the star ratchet removal tool. Because the ratchet ring is always being tightened against the hub body when you pedal, this can be very tight, so you will need quite a bit of force to remove it. Turn anti-clockwise, so you can see both the ratchet ring removed and the seal. Now we can flip the axle around and tap it through into the drive side bearing and then knock the drive side bearing out. Here I'm just showing how tight the fit is on the ratchet ring. So although the manual does say you can knock it out without removing the ratchet ring, I wouldn't recommend it. So give everything a really good clean finishing up with some alcohol to make sure it's completely free of any debris. Next we're going to insert the non-drive side bearing. Apply a little grease, I'm using the HPG1 grease from Park, which is good for this sort of stuff. This 240S hub uses a 6802 bearing on the non-drive side. I'm actually using some ceramic bearings in this case. I'm using the RRP tool you've probably seen in my other videos to insert the bearing. Don't apply too much pressure to the bearing. Just enough so it sits all the way in. Apply a little grease to the drive side of the hub. Lightly grease the bearing and the axle itself. And insert it into the hub body through the non-drive side bearing. The drive side bearing on this hub is a 15.26.7. Again, I'm using a ceramic bearing here. I'm using the RRP tool again to press fit the bearing in, but you'll need some sort of spacer I happen to have one of the tools from fitting Hope's bearings, the HTT182 tool, which slides over the axle itself and then pushes onto the 15267 bearing. But you can just use whatever you can find that will fit over the axle and push on the outer ring of the bearing. Again, don't over tighten. Thoroughly clean the ratchet ring, apply a little bit of grease and tighten it back into the hub body. You can just use a spanner to tighten the, the ratchet ring in place. Pedaling will tighten it further anyway. Next you want to insert the seal with the notch facing the free hub body. DT Swiss do sell a special tool to do this. But the free hub body itself, as long as you're not too heavy handed with it, will actually press it in perfectly. Just use a bit of wood and tap lightly. Make sure it's fully seated. It's likely that you'll have to adjust the preload slightly if it feels a little bit rough. So tap the axle, pushing out the non-drive side bearing ever so slightly. 
the axle should then spin really smooth. If it spins free but there's a slight amount of play left to right in the axle, then you'll just need to seat the non-drive side bearing back in just a touch, just give it an eighth or tenth of a turn with the RRP tool. Onto the free hub itself, it's fairly easy to remove the two 6802 bearings. Push the spacer to one side and then use a punch to tap out the outside bearing first, just moving around evenly. Flip the free hub around and then tap out the inside bearing. You'll then end up with an empty free hub body shell. Give everything a really good clean and then you can press in two new 6802 bearings. Again, I'm using the RRP tool. Make sure you apply a little bit of grease to the bearings before you insert them. And just press them in until they're seated and no further. Drop in the grease spacer and then press in the inside bearing. Again, this doesn't need to be too tight, just needs to seat the bearing. I'm using HPG1 grease from Park Tools. Lightly grease all the components of the free hub body. DT Swiss recommend using their special grease for the star ratchet mechanism itself. I've used HPG1 grease from Park, which Park actually recommend for the DT Swiss ratchet mechanism, and I've had good results. But I did actually buy a pot of this uh, special grease, which should last me a lifetime. So drop in the washer first. Lightly grease the axle, drop in the spacer. Then drop in the spring with the narrow end facing the ratchet mechanism. Then the ratchet mechanism itself, again with a spring with a narrow end facing the ratchet. Then the free hub body and then push on the end caps. Finally, drop on the cassette and tighten the lock ring to 40 newton meters if you have a torque wrench or just very tight if you don't. 